I'm headed to pick baby girl up from school and I'm just like I need to do a video on this issue it's about shade uh, shooting slugs copy cattles all that if you don't like these kind of videos please click, uh, click off because I don't have a blog, a blog channel I feel like this is my personal opinion so don't get mad at my opinion I feel like if you don't have like over 50, 75, 100,000 subscribers I mean a vlog channel is just too much I mean just say what you gotta say on your regular channel but my thing is here's with the shade I've came across this so much and I bite my tongue so much because a lot of you guys know I'm straight from the hood have never said I wasn't or tried to act like I'm not Oak Cliff, Texas and you know we we're known to have this black female um snappy type mentality so i try to kind of get up out of that but anyway every time i look around it's like people throwing shade on youtubers up and coming makeup artists and etc now hey it's um united states of america we all know that say what the hell you want to say more power to you but here's my thing i can say what i want to say so this is what I don't like about the issue right here. I've even been in makeup classes. I'm not gonna name names or none of that because that's not what this is about. And the whole time people were focusing more on YouTubers and what they do and how they do it. It just made me feel so freaking uncomfortable the whole time. Like why did I pay to come to your class for you to talk about you been doing makeup X amount of years and people been doing makeup on YouTube X amount of years and they get discovered they're doing makeup for so-and-so their makeup classes are selling out and all this and yours is not basically and but why are you sitting here at a dang makeup class talking about that when I came to learn i mean i understand your frustration you've been doing makeup 5 10 15 20 years at your local mac and somebody hops on youtube for two years and they got out the shine but that is not that person's fault i mean i've had this conversation with a whole bunch of people um who are on youtube and we all have the same opinion about it none of us started youtube to take over the world that was not our mission to start a YouTube channel, start giving out all these makeup tips and stuff for free, and take over the world. A lot of us didn't even start YouTube to make money. I know when I started YouTube, I didn't even know you can make money. Period, point blank. I didn't know shit about no reviews, none of that, until I started getting approached. When Google AdSense approached me and said, your money is now ready for money. I mean, your videos are now ready for money. Or when this cosmetic company this hair company approached me and was like hey you want to do a review on our hair when i started youtube i was in school i loved makeup i loved everything about it because i am a makeup collector and lover first before a makeup artist and i am one of those people i would admit that started calling my make myself a makeup artist too soon but that's the past but anyway it was not about I'm finna make some money. I'm finna get some free stuff. I mean, goddamn, that's what some of y'all focus and start y'all channels on now. Every time I look at any company want me to review, and, and you only got 50 subscribers. Damn, you taking this company money. I mean, you taking this company products and all of this, and 50 people are not even watching you. I mean, it's no shade in that if that's what the company want to do, but... I'm getting off track. My point was that was not the reason why me and a whole bunch of people started YouTube was to take over the industry and take over money. Your money. It is not our fault that people look at our Instagram, our YouTube or whatever and book us. See, I feel like that's the main problem is money. If we wasn't tapping into your money, you wouldn't care. But that's the issue. It's like a little bit of intimidation. And I feel like me being a professional professional makeup artist, working on steady clients and not just me for two years straight now, I feel like if you've been doing makeup 5, 10, 15, 20 years, you need to be somewhere educating, mentoring, inspiring, instead of trying to fucking compete and shoot slugs and throw shade at people. Like, what is the point of that? What enjoyment are you getting out of that? Like, you cannot tell. Well, you're getting some kind of enjoyment because you're doing it. I know some people look at it as like venting, but you never know who you're discouraging. You never know who looks up to you and... I might look up to you and then I go to your page. You talking about people who up and coming makeup artists. 
You just shot all my inspiration. Oh, maybe that's your point, right? You're trying to shoot all my dreams and all, everything I'm passionate about down because you feel a little intimidated. Maybe that's the real issue, too. Because you know if I get on your level, it's over for you. I'm not talking you and me. I'm just talking about in general. It's like some of y'all get real cocky. You try to tell people how to blend, how to post their pictures, how much to charge, what they carry and they makeup in. How is that affecting you? Please tell me if that's affecting if your rent is going to get paid, if you have rent. Please tell me if that's affecting if your car note is going to get paid, if you have a car note. Please tell me how that's affecting you, how much platinum charge. Please tell me how it's affecting you, what platinum is carrying her makeup in. Please tell me how it's affecting you if platinum is teaching a makeup class. That's not happening to your bank account. It's not affecting you. I'm not teaching it on you. So if people want it, why are you hating? Evidently, the people or do these people have clients? These people teach classes. These people have YouTubes because people request it. People want to see it, and that's what they want. So why you mad though? I'm not understand. I do not understand that for nothing in the world, Lord Jesus. I promise I don't. Do you have the people who straddle the fence? They on this person come in, then they and yo come in. You know, we see all of that. That's just like I had the problem a few months ago. Somebody I looked up to highly texted me and told me, oh, some young lady made a video about you. Great. Great. I'm, I'm not, uh, what am I supposed to cry, retire, quit? But that wasn't my problem. My problem was I go to look on a girl page and the same person that texts me is coming under it. Like, bitch, you, whose side are you on? It's just like. That's why I've cut so many people. These people ain't y'all friend. Period. Point blank. Not your friends. The hair hunt sis out. Not your friend. Believe that. Especially when y'all in the same industry. And it's just like that's happened to me so many times. I'll be on Instagram. I had an issue with a hair company one time. It wasn't a big issue to me, but it blew out of proportion where I felt like I wasn't sending enough hair. And I asked the company to send more, and they asked too many questions. So I felt as if, like, they were trying to imply that I was just trying to get more free hair. So people was under my video, oh, they wanted you to do the review. They should just send more hair. And then I go to the hair company Instagram page, these same people under their video talking about, she just ungrateful. She, I mean, people see that. And if people wonder why I don't follow you, I don't like you, so your stuff anymore, that's why. I'm not stupid. I have eyes. I have ears. I can see all of that. But anyway, that's a little bit off the subject. I just want to know you guys' opinions on that because I hate, you know, I was talking to somebody else and I'm not going to throw her name in this, but she she does hair here. And she was saying how she went to work in a beauty shop and they like hated her because she's a YouTuber. And they feel like she's taking all of their money and telling all the tips. Baby, I'm sorry. Don't nobody do $25 washing curls no more or circle sew-ins for $50. All that is swept out now. You can't get mad because somebody is on YouTube and they doing something. And I mean, what's the difference between me learning from YouTube and you learning from playing on your friends and people going out to the club? It's no difference. But you mad, though. Who's stopping you from starting a YouTube channel? You can start one, too. Why you mad? I mean, I just don't understand that. And it's, it's getting to the point to where it's really, really frustrating because, like I said, when I go to a class and I got to hear you sit up here and cry the whole freaking time because a YouTuber done made it further than you, like, who cares? Evidently, I'm here because I look up to you and I care about your opinion. I don't, I'm not here for, to hear you talk about other people. God damn, that shit is childish for real. And then on another note, this copying shit. Like, oh my gosh, it's one thing to be inspired, but some people just flat out copy and take it too far. Like, I've had so many problems with that lately, and I'm keeping names up out of this video, but people just hate me because I care about other people's feelings. If you send me something to review, and I feel like you... 100% mimicked and copied another company, I'm not going to review it. I have feelings for the person that I was working with first that originated the stuff, and I'm not going to do it because I don't need free stuff. Platinum can pay for her own stuff. Platinum wife can pay for her stuff. Platinum has a daddy and a brother on Broadway that can pay for her stuff, so I'm not in this to get free stuff. So I'm not just going to review your stuff just to have a free package and then hurt somebody's feelings who I deal you done stole. It's just like I was on here today. Everybody know I vlogged and did the video 
of stuff you can find at the Dollar Tree in your makeup kit. I promise I saw the exact same video. The person was saying the exact same shit I was saying. Did they shout me out? Did they say I got some of these ideas from Platinum? Hell no. Am I mad? Nope. That's how the world is now. Nobody's really original. Nobody wants to give people their prop. Especially our people. You get it? That's why our people don't get as far as others in the YouTube community or anywhere, period. Because we so busy trying to run, tell that, run, tell this idea, start shit, throw shade and copy that we can't even get, come together and work together. And I'm so sorry. If you don't like this video, thumbs down 50 god dang times. I don't even care. That don't, that don't get to me either. Everybody not going to like what I do. Everybody not going to like me. I understand that. I don't like some people. I don't like what everybody do. So that's not the point of this video. But my thing is, I have a question for y'all. Like, why is it, why do you guys feel like it's the YT shade for people who not on YouTube, YouTube makeup artists who aren't on YouTube, hairstylists who aren't on YouTube? Why is it so much shade? That's my first question. And why are they so worried about eye pockets and all of that? <coughs> and then how do y'all feel about the copy and stuff? I mean, because I know we're going to stay respectful. I will agree with you. We can disagree agreeably. So if you get fly in my comments, just please be aware that you will be blocked. Which brings me back to another thing. People in my comments advertising. Like, I got my numbers off of people watching me, people liking what I do, I hope. I didn't go under people videos talking about, hi, I'm platinum. I just started a channel and I'm doing a giveaway. I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers. Please check me out. Because what happens is I delete your comment and I block you and I report it as spam. Do not be in my comments advertising. That's not how you do it. You get noticed by your skills and what you do. That is super annoying when people fight for their numbers and you come up under their videos advertising. I don't care if it's hair, jewelry, whatever. Or if I'm reviewing Milani Cosmetics and you come up under my video tomorrow. Well, I have a lipstick line too. We're not talking about you right now. Oh, that's so annoying. But anyway, that's my tea for today. If you don't like it, we can talk about it. I don't beef like that. If I got an issue, I'm going to tell you about it, and I'm done with it. But, you know, everybody ain't on that level, apparently. But I'm out. Let me know what you guys think.